Today is Friday and come and join us as we show you what a typical Sabbath looks like for the Kritzinger family here in Bangkok, Thailand. We are on our way to the Adventist Hospital to do the AY Sabbath opening program for the nursing students at that campus of the university. We are on our way to Ristak Church where I'm going to do the Sabbath school uh, program this morning talking about the significance of the Sermon on the Mount in the 21st century. Not just doing the Sabbath school but also the lesson review. So now we're going back home to have lunch and then we're off to our next meeting. So we finished our third meeting that was about some program to reach young Thai people in Bangkok. And now we are on our way to meeting number four for the Sabbath day. We're going to meet with a family that have accepted the fourth commandment and they are interested in starting a Bible study worship group at their home so that's where we're going right now. It is about 8.30 and we just got home from meeting number 4 that we had on our Sabbath day and we went to go have dinner with a family that became Christian and because of the country uh, where they were staying and the majority religion there, they had to leave that country. So we couldn't take me uh, photos of, of that meeting that we just had because of uh, many different reasons. But uh, this family basically discovered uh, the truth about the fourth commandment on their own simply by reading their Bibles about eight months ago. And um, so they were very excited to meet people who share the same beliefs, the same idea. And so we had dinner together and they expressed their desire of starting a small a church group in their home um, every week on, on the Sabbath. And so we're very excited for that. And, you know, we asked them, what is there that we can do for you? How can we help you? And all that they said is, uh, Pastor, we don't need anything. Just please come and teach us the Bible. And that was just absolutely amazing to hear and it really just touched my heart. So that's, that's all for today. Um, tomorrow morning is activity number five for this weekend, even though the Sabbath is already done. It's about 6.30 in the morning and Serenity has already left to go work at the hospital and I'm on my way to a school to speak for a Pathfinder camp. Looks like most of their things are packed up already and they're ready to go back home.